Good morning. Today is the 17th day of August in this 2022nd year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, we have an overcast day today. Uh, tried to rain yesterday, but didn't amount to a whole lot. But nonetheless, it provided a nice uh, cooler day, and uh, it looks like we have the same. This morning will be a preparation for this evening's uh, meal. We'll be serving uh, ham and uh, um, cheesy potato casserole uh, with hash browns and green beans. So I hope folk will come out tonight uh, between 4 and 6 p.m. at Trinity uh, Georgetown. That's uh, just past the Sam Pitt Bridge on the road toward Charleston on 17. Um, additionally, um, in the next few days, uh, keep uh, Benita in your prayers as she will have some uh, surgery on her arm to correct a, a nerve issue that's affecting her, her hand. Uh, it shouldn't be a difficult procedure, but one that's needful, and uh, keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Um, we begin this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I think I just repeated that, but nonetheless, can't hurt to have a double blessing. The uh, first reading is from Romans in the 14th chapter. Then let us no more pass judgment on one another, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. <clears throat> I know and I am persuaded in the Lord Jesus Christ that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. He who thus <coughs> serves, <coughs> serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Do not, for the sake of food, destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for anyone to make others fall by what he eats. It is right not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother stumble. The faith that you have, keep between yourself and God. Happy is he who has no reason to judge himself for what he approves. But he who has doubts <clears throat> is condemned if he eats because he does not act from faith. But whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. The Word of the Lord. William Fenner, who lived between 1600 and 1640, writes the following in a quest for godliness. Suppose a man have peace of conscience. What must he do to keep and maintain it? And I answer, first we must labor to prevent troubles of conscience by taking heed that we do nothing contrary to conscience. Nothing that we get in any evil way will cheer and comfort us in the time of need. Wretched is he that alloweth himself in any course which his conscience findeth fault with. It is a good rule, the apostle giveth. Blessed is he that condemneth not himself in that which he alloweth. That is, blessed is he that hath not a condemning conscience. And secondly, if we will maintain our peace, we must labor to have our heart grounded in the assurance of the love of God. And thirdly, we must use the assurance of faith in applying the blood of Christ. We must labor to purge and cleanse our conscience with it. If we find that we have sinned, we must run presently at once to the blood of Christ to wash away our sin. We must not let the wound fester or ex uh, exculate, but presently get it healed. As we sin daily, so he justifieth daily, 
and he must daily go to him for it. We must every day eye the brazen serpent. Justification is an ever-running fountain, and therefore we cannot look to have all the water at once. Oh, let us sue out every day a daily pardon. Let us not sleep one night without a new pardon. Better sleep in a house full of adders and venomous beasts than sleep in one sin. Oh, then be sure with the day to clear the sins of the day, and then shall our conscience have true peace. And let us pray. Help us, O Lord, to live in your peace, your peace which passes all human understanding. And that peace, O Lord, comes with a clear conscience. As we lay before you those sins and frailties and failings and seek your forgiving way, as we come to our brothers and sisters for the same, that we not bring sin upon them, by the things that we say or do, but that we seek their forgiveness and their healing presence as well. Be with us, O Lord, throughout this day, that the things that we say and the things that we do might be a truer reflection of your will, your will and your ways for us. We thank you, O Lord, for this day, for the night of rest that was before us, for the opportunities to serve you as we are called and as we are able. Let those things that we do be a good reflection of your love one to another. Sustain those who journey throughout this day with a great burden, with the burden of their own personal sin or difficulties, with the burdens of illness or difficulties in health, with the burden of things that they have done that they have difficulty dealing with, and give them and us your peace and your presence. Bring healing to the land of the Ukrainians, that they might find peace and that the aggressor of Russia might leave and return to home. Bring your healing hands to bear in the lives of those for whom we intercede this day for Benita, for Nancy, for Roger, for Nikki and Tom and Lisa, for Evelyn and for James, for Evelyn Tompkins, for Billy, Elaine's friend, for Elaine, she'll face surgery soon, and for each that we come into your loving care, for Loretta as she grieves the loss of her husband, for her family that they might find healing in this time of grief and sorrow, for Kenneth and Gay, for Sarah, for Becky, for all of those who travel the roads, going to schools, to colleges, and to places of learning, that they might do so in safety. And bless each of us as we have needs, for you know what those are. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore. Amen.